What's up guys, Lee Fry here. Welcome back to the channel. And today we are gonna be discussing two budget friendly uh, vlogging camera options. So make sure you guys stay tuned. All right, welcome back guys. So like I said earlier, we'll be discussing two budget-friendly vlogging cameras. Um, I'm gonna start talking about the oldie but goodie, the 2015 Panasonic G7. It is a 16 megapixel micro four thirds camera. Uh, it shoots in 4K and up to 30 frames per second, 1080p at 60 frames per second. There is no slow motion option. So 60 frames per second is all you got when it comes to this camera. Uh, it has a lot of great features, has focus peaking, has histogram, has grid lines, it has the, uh, the articulating LCD touch screen. So, which is definitely helpful if you're trying to vlog. It has all that, you can see yourself, you gotta be able to see yourself when you guys are vlogging, guys. Has the uh, microphone in jack. Um, it has everything you need to be a vlogging camera. So, now we're gonna discuss the Canon EOS M50. This came out in 2018, is a 24 me megapixel APS-C sensor. Uh, can shoot in 4K at 24 frames per second, 1080p at 60 frames per second. It also does not have slow motion, so 60 frames per second is th the best it can do. Um, has the microphone in jack as well. It also has the flip touchscreen LCD. So again, very helpful when you are trying to vlog. So those are a lot of the positives. They're both very small cameras. They're Pretty much almost the same size. The G7 is a little bit bigger. Um, it's a little bit thicker, but overall they are both very compact cameras, um, which is good when you're vlogging. Uh, you don't want to have to be carrying lugging around this big rig when you're trying to vlog. So they're both you know lightweight and do the job as far as that. Now we'll go over some of the negatives. We'll start with the G7. If anyone is familiar with Panasonic, which I sh I'm sure we are, and if you watch any of my videos, I'm sure you're familiar with them as well. Um, we'll talk about the obvious one, the autofocus. The autofocus is terrible in this thing. Has great, great image quality, but the autofocus, like I said, is horrible. Um, has no in-body image stabilization, so um, you have to be mindful of how you hold this thing when you're walking around, vlogging, filming, anything. It can, it's very easy to get the micro jitters in there. So there is, you know, those two big, big things. Um, I've worked around it for a while, but you know, it is, they're difficult to deal with. I'm not going to lie. So those are two big negatives, unfortunately. The Canon M50. It has tremendous autofocus. It has Canon's um great dual pixel autofocus um it has that but one of the big big negatives for this thing uh the 4k the 4k is i, I haven't had the chance to use it but just kind of play with it a little bit and the 4k in this thing um it's got a two and a half times crop so you are super cropped in and if anyone's familiar with canon the canon m50 they will know that you lose the dual pixel autofocus when you go into 4K, which I don't understand why Canon did that. Um, the EOS R, um, obviously it's a much more expensive camera, but when they when, it, when you put it in 4K, it does not lose the dual pixel autofocus. So Canon has the technology to be able to do that. I just don't know why they uh, skipped out on that with this camera. It doesn't make any sense, but it is what it is. So the 4K on this, is not the best so those are they're they're both not low light monsters as well you know they're you're not going to be able to take these in pitch black situations and get great footage you're just not they're not very neither one are great i'm 
gonna think that this is the Canon might do a little bit better than the G7 just because it has a bigger sensor, but I haven't had a chance to test that out yet. So that is one thing I'm gonna test out to see which one does better in low light. All right, so what we're gonna do, um, I'm gonna actually switch out these cameras. I'm gonna uh, put one as my A cam, one as my B cam. I'm gonna shoot both in 1080p at 30 frames per second. Try to make it as equal as possible, both with the kit lenses. And I'm gonna put this thing in autofocus just so you guys can see, you know, how it compares in regards to the, the M50's autofocus. So stay tuned and we're gonna switch out right about. All right, guys, welcome back. So we have the G7 set up as my A camera, and we have the M50 set up as my B camera. Have all the settings set up the exactly same. Both have their kit lens. Uh, the f-stop of 3.5, shutter speed is at 60, ISO is at 800. Uh, have the uh, custom white balance on right now. Um, face tracking autofocus on the M50 and shooting with the face detection autofocus on continuous autofocus on the G7. So, um, you know, this is kind of what you can expect out of both these cameras. Um, I can't really see right now until I get in the computer, but I'm going to, I trust that this autofocus is working right now. I've, you know, I've tried it out before making this video work very well. Um, right now on the G7, um, I don't know. Um, that's that's always been the big problem with the G7. Any Panasonic camera in general really is just the autofocus is not reliable, which, you know, sucks because I love those cameras. They have amazing image quality. Um, but so far, so good with this one. I like the image quality on this thing as well. So um, they both shoot great, great video. Just if I have to give a thumbs up to one of them, it's going to be the M50 because it has great autofocus. So right now what we're going to do guys, we're going to take them outside and we're going to do a vlogging test and show you guys how they hold up as vlogging cameras. So make sure you stay tuned for that. All right guys, so welcome back. This is the uh, vlogging test on the Canon EOS M50. Right now I'm inside because it looks like it's about to rain and it's supposed to rain today. So I'm inside the car. Um, but a little bit later, I will try to get some outside shots, kind of show you guys what you can expect with these two cameras uh, when you're outside vlogging. So right now, again, this is the Canon EOS M50, uh, start of the vlogging test. Uh, looks like the autofocus is working pretty well, actually very well. So this is kind of what you guys can expect. So now uh, we're going to switch over to the uh, Panasonic Lumix G7. Hold on one sec. All right, what's up, guys? This is the uh, Panasonic G7. So this is kind of what you can expect if you're vlogging with this camera. All the same settings as the Canon EOS M50. Um, once again, in, inside right now, waiting for this weather to kind of calm down before I get you guys some outside shots on both of these cameras. Not sure how the autofocus is doing. Let's see. Did catch? Yeah, taking a little bit of time to catch focus. See, this is, I think we got it now. See, that's, you know, one of the main reasons I'm switching to the Canon just because of that autofocus. So, otherwise, I think the image looks really well, really good. It produces a great image. It's just that pesky autofocus. So, anyways, guys, um, we'll wait for a little bit and I'm going to go out and get a few more shots outside show you what you guys can experience or how your what your experience would be like if you use this as a vlogging camera all right so make sure you stay tuned all right guys so this is the outdoor vlogging test for the Panasonic G7 the only thing you have to be mindful about when it comes to this camera is there is no uh, in-body image stabilization so it can get kind of shaky so yeah you have to keep that in mind but overall like I said produces a good image um, again I don't know how the autofocus is looking so I'm gonna have to check it out and then I'll let you get then we'll have that final discussion but let's do a little autofocus test real quick see how it holds up all right so that's all right so now we're gonna switch over to the uh, Canon M50 hold on one sec all right, guys, so now this is the vlogging test on the Canon M50. Uh, this does not have in-body image stabilization, but it does have electronic stabilization. So you will get a little bit more of a smoother shot than you would with the Panasonic G7. And 
looks like the autofocus is holding up pretty well but again we'll check it out once we get into put it onto the computer so now we're gonna do a quick little autofocus test just like we did with the G7 so hold on one sec all right what's up guys welcome back so just finished up the vlogging test between the g7 and the canon m50 and to be honest well the canon won for two reasons the first one i felt like because it does have the electronic image stabilization so the handheld shots were definitely a little bit smoother than the g7 it's definitely not Panasonic levels of in-body image stabilization. They have great stabilization in their cameras But it still held up better than the g7 that has no stabilization other than the uh, uh, Optical image stabilization in the lens which doesn't in my opinion just doesn't really do a whole lot and for two the autofocus um, the Canon from uh, Looking at the footage the only time I saw I only saw it met kind of not catch focus one time and that was for like a brief second then it, I moved real quick and then it caught focus really fast and it would stay in focus so there's only one time I really noticed it the G7 um, there was times that it did good um, when I was out doing the vlogging test walking around it did decently um, until like I started you know walking towards the camera and kind of moving around and that's when it kind of didn't do its best so that part the walking around it surprisingly did better than it did when I was sitting in the car just sitting there and it, it did, had a hard time keeping focus uh, while I was sitting there in the car trying to you know just do the quick little auto or vlog test the autofocus just didn't hold up so but it held up better when I was walking around which didn't make any sense to me but that's the problem with the uh, Panasonic autofocus it's very inconsistent it's been my experience with it that sometimes it would work really well and I would think okay maybe I can use this and then other times it just didn't want to work at all so it's just very inconsistent so that's again that's the main reason that I switched to this uh, <clears throat> this uh, Canon M50 for my primary vlogging camera just because the image quality is really good and it has great autofocus so anyways that kind of wraps up this comparison um, I still love the G7 I think it's a great camera if you want a great 4k camera option and you're not that concerned about stabilization or autofocus and you're trying to get a budget camera that can give you a great image in 4k and a great 1080p image as well with a lot of pro level features specs on it it doesn't have like what the GH4 GH5 has but it has, still has a lot of features for a budget camera I definitely recommend the G7 for that if great image and autofocus is very important to you I would definitely uh, steer towards the M50 or another camera like uh, another Canon camera or Sony something that has really good autofocus if autofocus is really important to you so but the M50 I, I love it so far so cannot complain um, it's been everything I could hope for so far I mean it's been a short time but so far so good guys so anyways gonna wrap this video up I hope you guys liked it I hope you guys found some use out of it uh, if you're not already subscribed please hit that subscribe button if there's anything you guys want to talk about anything you guys want to see let me know and we could make it happen anyways guys again leave a comment hit that like button hit the subscribe button we'll see you at the next video have a good one